No country is immune from corruption or wasteful spending. So how can you proactively identify suspicious actions in public procurement? At the Open Contracting Partnership, we believe in long-term, sustainable change. This video will share implementation steps to use your real-time data to determine red flag fraud risks even before they occur. A red flag is a direct or indirect sign that may indicate potential corruption, fraud, or other illicit behavior in public procurement. It is not intended to prove corruption, but rather to signal suspicious patterns worthy of further analysis. Our guidance will help you calculate more than 70 red flags. The availability, amount, and quality of your data will inform the indicators you'll be able to analyze. Your first step is to specify relevant risk indicators in your contracting mechanisms. Typically, countries and sectors will have common types of corruption, which can be used as a starting point. Second, establish the thresholds for each red flag indicator based on what should be considered risky or suspicious in your market. Ways you can do this are to review local legal requirements and procurement regulations, ask experts familiar with the regulations, or perform an empirical analysis of your open data. Lastly, measure your red flags. We provide details for calculating each indicator. If your data is available in the Open Contracting Data Standard, you can easily determine which red flags to calculate as well as potential data gaps. Implementing red flag monitoring can be very different in practice. A couple of examples include procurement agencies or control authorities may establish risk detection tools highlighting potential fraud in the early stages. Civil society initiatives often monitor the implementation of public spending in real time. By using your real-time open data to establish red flags, you help make public contracting fairer and more efficient. To get started, check our red flag resources at opencontracting.org.